Uh, we know Johnson & Johnson's vaccine has dominated headlines this week. It's on the shelf because of possible blood clots in several people. It's still being investigated, as we know, but we know that there are six clot cases in the U.S. out of close to 7 million who have gotten that vaccine. But we also know that there are some other side effects from the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines that are much more common. John Shumway has more on those this morning. And John, you know, you hear from people who have gotten the shots and they're telling you, oh, hey, make sure to hydrate, look out for this. This is what I experienced. So it's really dominating conversations. Yeah, and it really pops your eyes if you see somebody with COVID arm. And that's what we're talking about, primarily two of these reactions, one being COVID arm, the other being swelling in the lymph nodes. So for a little bit of perspective on these that can affect up to 15 to 20% of the people who get the shots, I went to Dr. David Agus from the USC Tech School of Medicine, the CBS medical expert. What COVID arm is, is it's a reaction, your immune system attacking the spike protein that the vaccines make. And as part of that, it's manifest by some redness on the arm. It can classically be delayed, you know, by several days up to a week or so. And then it can last for several days, but it goes away in every patient. Um, and it is part of a normal reaction. It is seen much more often in the Moderna vaccine than the Pfizer vaccine, but it's seen in both. And again, it's transient. It is, you know, to me, it's kind of a visual manifestation. That vaccine is working. So myself as a geek, I think it's amazing to see this because, you know, I know the immune system is hard at work for protection, but obviously it can be scary for individuals. And there are the lumps known as inflamed lymph nodes that so many people are finding. That can be a little intimidating. No question about it is that, you know, when the vaccine is there, your immune cells travel by a highway called the lymphatics, and then they get together in big parking garages called lymph nodes. And so when they're reacting to something, they're going to get enlarged, those lymph nodes. And so while it is scary, it is normal, and it will go away, and this is part of human physiology. Yeah, and he says, don't be surprised if that swelling in the lymph nodes sticks with you for a while. It could be a week, maybe even a couple of weeks. After that, you might want to consult your doctor about it. All right, so where should we be looking for in particular? Are these all of our lymph nodes or is it one particular area? No, it is in one particular area. Generally speaking, we're talking about the underarm, the armpit area uh, on the side where you got the vaccine. And because it is so close to the breast, there is a kind of an alert out there for women who are scheduled to have a mammogram. Okay. If you're going ahead with the mammogram, make sure you tell your doctor you've had the vaccine and where it was because it could show up as a false negative on or a false positive on the mammogram. Or if you can delay the mammogram, that's another good idea, according to Dr. Agus. All right, some good information. Thank you so much, John. Sure.